Hi, this is Richard with Data Edo Customer Success. Now that you've installed Data Edo Desktop, you're ready to proceed to the next step of producing your data catalog, and that is to create a repository where the metadata that you import from your data sources is going to be stored. You do this right here, the newer open, and this opens this recent connection dialog. You will remember that you saw the same dialog when you start Data Edo Desktop. In my case, this is not a brand new fresh installation, so I do have items in that list. If it's fresh installation, this list will be empty. Regardless, the new repository button is the place we want to go. We click that. This brings up this window where you're asked to provide the name of the server and your login credentials. So I'm going to enter that here. There's the name of the server. It defaults to port 1433. If that is not correct and you need to change it, you can. Then we choose the authentication method. In my case, that will be the SQL Server authentication, which means I have a user account on SQL Server for me to log into that. I then enter my username and my password right there. Then we have the choice to save the password or not. I recommend you do not. And then the connection mode, I leave it to encrypt if possible. Then we have to choose the database name. This does default to Data Edo, so if it's a brand new installation, you're welcome to leave it that way. If it's a duplicate repository, of course, you need to give it a different name so you don't overwrite your existing repository. So I am going to give this a name. Right there, my repository. I am not going to include the sample data and I will click Create. Before I do that, I want to mention this option right here. If you do not have SQL Server installed, for example, if you're doing a test and you're putting this on your own local computer and you don't have SQL Server, you can use that option to install SQL Server and just follow the steps and then that will bring you back and you can proceed with the rest of this as we just did. But you do have that option. You don't have to install SQL Server by yourself. You can do it right through this interface. <clears throat> but once we have this in here, we click Create, and this will now go to that location and create the Data Edo repository as needed. It will create the all of the tables and all of the connections that it needs to do that. Here we see that that is, was created successfully. And now we're going to connect and see what we actually did. You see here, we have that repository, that's the database name, and the server location. It remembered my username, so I just need my password. Right there, again, save or not, I recommend not, and we connect. And right here we see we have a brand new repository with that name and it is at that location. You can see it's empty, of course, because we've not done any work there yet. That will be in the next video where we will add connections and import the metadata. So it really is that easy to create a new repository. Before I leave this video, however, I do want to show you what this looks like in SQL Server. Here we are in the Management Studio, and if we look at the databases, we can see right there is the brand new repository we just created. And of course, if we look inside there, we can see all of the tables that the wizard just created for us. So it's all there, it's all ready to go, and you can very easily now proceed with creating connections, and we're going to cover that in the next video. Thank you for using Data Edo.